Hey guys, Mike and Jerry here, back with you on a super wet, stormy, rainy. Hope oh, you. Yeah. There you go. Oh, Let's man. Let's get that day off with that sound. Oh hey, my Mike. gosh, you guys. Mike, 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 Mike. Guess what did it? Can, Can you, you guys, guys hear, hear that? that? I mean, it is pouring down rain, you guys. So, <laughs> welcome to the Pacific Northwest. That's what it's like here. Oh. oh, I know. You know, we were actually walking in the store a couple days ago, and I said to Mike, it was raining, and I said to Mike, I'm like, oh, God, here we go, a whole, wow. you know, the winter, here we are, get used to it again. It's like, you live here, you're used to it. We just say it is a cold shower. You're taking I mean, a cold shower daily, pretty much. Honey, oh my gosh, I feel like the roof's going to come in. I don't even wear a coat half the time, you guys. We're just used to it. You yeah. Know? So welcome back, everybody. Boy, what a Wednesday we have for oh, you, don't we? Oh man, guys, we have so much going on right now. For, we, we got a Bulk.com palette for you, as you guys know. That's a good start, right there. We filmed one for Monday Madness with no volume. Okay. So you guys missed out on that one, but uh, we're gonna make up for it with this one. Okay. But we've got more than that, guys. Do we, you want to? We, yes, yes, we told well, them. Well, let me tell them the beginning part, and then you can tell them the Okay, part. I think that'd be a good All right. idea. So, super, super surprise, guys. Wait. Fuck. It's our gift to you guys. Go for it, Mike. Ta-da! For the month of December, guys, we are going to do 24 live streams. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, you guys. 24. Every morning, the first... Through the 24th, we are going to go live with a fresh cup of coffee with our Keurig K-Cup Advent Calendar, guys. Yes, there is such a thing. There is a Keurig K-Cup Advent Calendar. Man, Keurig should really, I should email them. And I'm going to tell them, you guys need to go watch this video because we gave them a huge shout out right there, didn't we? We did. So, <laughs> in fact, here's a picture of the advent calendar. So for every month or every day, the 1st through the 24th, there's a different cake up in there and we are gonna go live and we are gonna try them out with you guys. Just a quick little live stream each morning, somewhere in the neighborhood of 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. Yes. Now that can fluctuate a little bit depending on what's going on, but we will, no matter what it is, we will be there right around that time each one of those days. We will be there at 8.30 a.m. Mike might be there at 8.29. I may be there at 8.31. <laughs> wow. Sliding into the chair. So if you are one of our truck drivers or freight delivery guys, you're going to have to wait because I'm going to be there at 8.30. He's got to be there at 8.30. They're going to just have to wait for you. You had to wait over two hours the other day for them. They Almost three hours. Okay, there it is. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So... 8.30 a.m., Cup of Joe with Mike and Terry, 15 to 20 minutes. That will be it every day. And if you miss it, guys, no big deal. It'll be uploaded to the channel for replay later, so no big deal. You can watch it in the afternoon, the evening, whatever it we is. You have an afternoon pick-me-up Cup of Joe still with us. So, all right. But there's but. more. There's still more. Oh, my gosh. What is this? Christmas giveaway time, right? I okay. like this. Oh, wait. There's but more. wait, there's more. All right, guys. Here it is. Act now. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on. Spit it out. So, the first starts on a Wednesday. I'm thinking here in my brain. The first starts on a Wednesday. So, Wednesday through Sunday. On the first Monday, we are going to draw one name out of whoever commented on those lives and we are going to send you, through email, a $25 Visa gift card. But wait, there's still more. <laughs> this will happen three Mondays in a row. So the first one will be Wednesday through Sunday. We'll announce it on that Monday. And then we'll start tracking again that Monday through Sunday and announce it on Monday and so on. So always on the Monday, we will announce the winner three times in December. There's three Mondays, this, right? Right, 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 Mike, Mike, Mike. I'm gonna give you the hump day summary, guys. 
every Monday before Christmas in the month of December, we will give away a gift card. But you gotta comment Boom. on those videos. Yes, leave your comments, guys. So we can get your name, and then we will announce yes. your name, and you are to email us on our business page. You're the winner, and your email when address, you and so on. You watch the video on the following Monday, and you hear your name announced. You must message us. Either email or Facebook business page. Because otherwise, we have no way to get a hold of you to get your address. No. So, and let's for, do this. Yes. If you want to join us with that advent calendar. I actually just stumbled upon it. I'm sure you maybe find it on the Amazon or something. I stumbled upon it on Bed Bath & Beyond. And it was normally $20. If you have the Bed Bath & Beyond membership you get 20% off. So it was like $16.99. I'll give you guys a hint. I think it's till the end of January. They're giving you a free trial on that membership. Wow, look but at that, guys, guys. Don't forget to cancel, because otherwise it's $29 for the year that right. I'm not responsible for if you forget to cancel it. But take advantage. They'll tell you the date it's going to end. Take advantage of that free offer. Look I know, that. right? It's like you're making money so already. So I clicked, yes, I will try your free offer, and I got Mike's and mine for $17 each. Woo! Shipped. Done. It was All right. Awesome. Free awesome. shipping. Come on. You can't beat that. All right, Mike. You're getting ready. Here we go. I've had it. I'm done. He's I'm going. Done. He's moving. Let's make some money. Let's have some fun on home day. Right, Mike? Oh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Hey, Julie. Paid. All in. All in. Wow, this is a good price. Shipping fees, cost of the pallet, $493. That's a good, I think that's a good price because that's not the easiest things to find nowadays on, on the pallet. So I think that's pretty good. That is though with combined shipping, guys. Retails, $2,181. There's 21 items right there. Just going to break that down to $23.48 per item. Hopefully, that $23.48 was worth it. Now, notice I didn't let Terry use this knife today. So, <laughs> some of you guys, um, what video was that in? Terry made the announcement. Monday? She cut her, cut her I, finger. I cut, my, I cut my finger with, with that knife. Yeah, that, that knife is vicious. So, All that, right. that I cut, and then two days later, I cut this finger. This one's still sore, but now I'm walking around with. I'm down to eight fingers, Carolyn. All right, well, let's so, get your eight fingers busy because we've got some bedding to talk about, guys. Okay, what do we got, Mike? Brand new, Simply Essential. This is a cheap brand, but it's brand new, and it's a Twin XL Sherpa Camouflage. This is going to sell instantly in our store, probably as a Christmas gift, you guys. Comforter set. So that's one comforter and the sham. One sham. One charm. I'm going to say we got 30 bucks right here. I'm going to say. What do you think? I'm going to say probably. 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 All right. Here's another one. $30. Get my coffee off of there. Oh. I feel Carolyn's voice yelling at me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get her, Carolyn. Ah, she's got sympathy for me for losing the finger cuts right now. Okay. Well, I don't need this, but anyhow, I was looking at this paper hanging here. I'm sorry. So, King, washed there, complete gone. bed set, comforter, two shams, whoa, four-piece sheet set. How do we know they really washed it? <laughs> well, I sure hope that the company that advertised this really did wash it. But seriously, you got, and this is a King, so you got your sheet set, your shams, and the comforter, and in gray, and it's... Yeah, I don't know about that. I was going to say, do you really think that's brand new? So there's a zip tie on there. So I'm really questioning, is that a brand new? I don't think it is. It, the bag's been ripped out and taped. I mean, it's folded really nicely in there. I'm doing Inspector Gadget on it right now. For video purpose, we're going to call it new. We are looking for that random little piece of hair that is in there to see if we see one. But you know what? All honesty, I do not see the random little piece of hair, and I do see um, pieces of like uh, the string from sewing. Okay. So I, I'm thinking it may be new. We're going with new right now on that for sure. What do you think? What is this retail, Mike? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just waiting for you. No. I'm not going ahead. Well, you better because it says who called number best. <laughs> 40 bucks. What do you think? King size. 
five. Great. Talk about your own item. You told me to go ahead. That item. I don't want this. Well, I don't want it either. It's ugly looking. Don't Used, <laughs> stained, bedspread. Oh. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Keep going. I'll write that down. I don't know. I don't even know if we'll be able to tell it, guys. It has a yellow, like a highlighter Ryan mark on it. Bedding set gray. I'll get you ten bucks. The next Riley King bedding set, seven piece gray. The next one's awesome. I'm not gonna bring it out yet. It's so awesome. Is it really that awesome? Yeah. Okay, let me get you a number real fast. I'm not getting you a number real quick. But what I am seeing, oh wait, Bed Bath and Beyond, still not it. But this Riley bedding was 120. I'm calling this fifty dollars until wow, I find 50. more until I find more information. All right. I was at least looking for a base point of kind of what these their brands are. You ready for the awesome one? Yes. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ta-da! Look at that one. Wamsuda. Wamsuda, you I guys. I saw the W on the tab. All right. Size. Comforter and shams. Um King! King size! Let's see if we wow. get a scan on that one. That Ooh, one should... I like Wamsuda. That one should scan, I think. Oh, it's white, Mike. I gotta tell you guys the most funniest story right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. We got new bedding. And I'm struggling finding um, a faux fur set in stock somewhere. And I wanted a white set. So I found this other one, it's not the put it on the bed last night, and it's not Bofor. I swear, we were sleeping with, um, who is also the elephant off of Sesame Street that had all that long hair? What was his name? Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. I feel like we were sleeping with a white Snuffleupagus. This thing had this long, like, soft shag rug. I don't know. This stuff was like an inch and a half long. I was like, not I told, furry, you guys. It's like fuzzy. It's like you get fuzzy I don't know what face. Was, and, I told my he's going to snore and it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull it in towards his mouth and back out. I think it did all night. It was terrible. <laughs> it was the most awful I slept thing. terrible last night. <laughs> I got up this morning and I told her, I said, this thing's out of here. We're taking it back. We'll probably wind up getting it back in a pallet. <laughs> All right. So what do you got on the long <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, eBay. Here we go. I'll just go with an eBay number real quick. Uh, well, they said eBay says it retail $200, and they were selling it for $110. So there's no way we're going to get even, yeah. I'm going to call it $60. 60 bucks. we got to be realistic. All right. Well, this one has a sticky note right on it, guys. Birdhouse does not pop up. And guess what? They are right. Little uh, Fisher Price kids baby toy. And it's clearly defective, so we won't get anything out of that. That's no money. Goose egg. Check this one. Hey, I only got eight fingers. Oh! Be kind to me. Fisher Price baby's first blocks. Rumbling all around in here. Factory sealed though. It is sealed there. Um, well, you probably, could probably pick this up on Black Friday for like $5. It's going to be my guess. Probably. So I'm not going to be able to really sell it for more than that. That is one thing, you guys, as a retailer, you've got to keep that in mind when you come into these big sale times of the year that you will be competing with the retail stores. You definitely you are. You either need to hold on to it and sell it later or sell it now for cheap. Either way, it's kind of like that bedding. You know, I said $60 and supposedly if it was $200, gosh, what a great deal. Where is that when I need that kind of deal? But, you know, the stores are sitting there having them, you know, $50, $60, $70 themselves. So, it's, you, you are definitely competing. Cannot find anything instantly on this. I'm still running it with $5. Five bucks. This is one of those baby wrap carriers. It is used. They returned it, wadded up in the box. I would say as long as it's clean and there's no <laughs> defects or damage, we can still get 15. It retails 60. Fifteen, it's gonna fly out the door. If but it's like new, we're going twenty. 
Okay. If, we'll if check not, it. I'm putting it down though for 15 for you, okay? Velvet hangers. It says 50. I don't know if there's, I don't think all 50 are here, guys. I think we got half of them. These do sell really well, though. How much? Ten dollars. Ten bucks. Wow. This looks fun. Okay, we'll get something. I'm gonna take Great. this one. All right. Ten bucks on the hangers. Nicely. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Don't knock off the mystery box. I will tell you. This is my box. Get. This is my box. Thank you. I will tell you. Folk stacked that. Nicely. Yeah, this one. Who, who, who stacked that one? T.S. Thank you. you T.S. That was my dad's initials, actually. Wait. I think we better wait till we get to the end before we start giving. What? We might get down in there and find some piece of junk in there and get mad at T.S. So we should. Wait I can't on that. get mad at T.S. This T.S. <laughs> yes, yes. Tia. Anytime I see that, my dad is gone. That was his initial. So anytime I see TS on the boxes, instantly think there. So TS, you're okay with me. If there's a problem, Mike can deal with it. <laughs> I'm watching you with that knife, and you almost cut yourself again. I'm really trying to get the week off. I don't want just Thursday and Friday off. Yes, we're taking Thursday and Friday off, guys. Give me this. Ready? $23? Well, the $23 part felt terrible. Oh, okay. Alright, you ready? Yes, Cross yes. Cross your fingers, guys. We need this I to be brand new. Hurts. This needs to be brand new. Trust me, you'll know why. Ta-da! Diaper Genie! <laughs> now you know why it needs to be brand new. While you're slowly opening that up, I'm... Go ahead. Why slowly? I'm going to tell them that Mike paid off his debt to me on the dinner bet, you guys. Yeah. And, oh, my gosh. So, he did it last night. He made... And I don't even want to say the word. Um, how would I say? It, it, he made a turkey. Just tell him what it is. <laughs> brand new, guys. Brand new. Tell him what it is. No, you say it. I made a spatchcock turkey, guys. There you go. And if you don't so, know what that is, plug that into Google. <laughs> it's pretty cool. First time I've ever done it. So Mike did it. He did it all on his own. He put it out on the smoker. And um, he did that in scalloped potatoes with Brussels, sprout, Brussels sprouts, carrots, and onions. Tossed in olive oil with sea salt and pepper on the grill also. He did an Excellent job. And to top it off, he cleaned the whole mess up too, you guys. So that by far beats the lobster dinner because cleaning up a kitchen after turkey dinner is not fun. So Mike, thank you for paying off your debt. Oh, you're welcome. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put a picture in for you guys. All right. So, diaper genie. $48 at Target. Okay. It is brand new. We'll put it for $25. Bucks. Sounds good. Barely made money on that one. Take a seat. All Everybody right. Everybody take a seat. How much are Chico, these? Chico. I don't know. Two of these Chico little uh, booster you got seats. It? Okay. Get a price on one of these. These are, wait for it. Interesting. I do believe. Stoke Trip Trap Chair came up when I scanned it. Fifty dollars at Target, guys. I do believe that these are factory sealed. What I believe think? so. We got the same tape, no ripped cardboard. Twenty-five bucks a piece. Yeah. We will open one just to confirm that, but I believe they are brand new. Twenty-five or fifty? Really? We're not making How much, much are they? They retail fifty. And we could stretch it and Let's try it for it thirty. Let's stretch it to thirty. All right, we're, we're gonna stretch 30. it, guys. That's you still heard giving her. Great discount. So sixty dollars for the two of those. Kitaroo. We've sold these before. These little booster seats. A brown one? It appears yeah. to be brand new. I've brand new. That still has the tag. Tag. What 
stuck to it. Cafe booster. This little girl's on a roll. I'm going to show you that picture. She's on a cafe booster with Mike and Terry. So it's just a little booster seat that straps onto a dining chair. They're made out of a kind of a molded silicone rubber, very squishy. Here's the picture she wanted you to see. I mean, don't you think right. that little girl, she's into the coffee already. All right, where are we at? I don't, you know, this Big money? Not, does not tell me. You keep going while I do a quick search. And we will find out what these re this one retails. Holy moly. booster. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah. Another item we need to be brand new, guys. Double breast pump. Some of these breast pumps are really expensive. They just don't sell after they've been used, though. There's the chocolate one. That's in that box. <laughs> Amazon, but still, you guys, at least I found it. It is $60 for this one. Wow. Boom. $30 for that. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new, you guys! So the real question is, what's it worth? I'm not familiar with this brand. La La Lonsino? I just don't know. Lonsino. Oh, Mike, just aren't you go. in touch with your breastfeeding needs? Well, I was, but only a single. This is a double. Mm, All right, where are we at? <laughs> ouch. Sounds awful. That's getting the twice the amount of work done at one time, you guys. This is the ultimate multitasking device. <laughs> Where are we at? Eighty-five dollars. That retails for. You know what? We do have a lot of baby boom going on right now. I feel like Ew. we can get a solid forty-five dollars out of it. Guys. I think so, and also, you know why? That could be still a great Christmas present for somebody. So. $45. 45 like bucks. It. Brand new factory sealed. Is it? it? says damaged. Damaged. Could be the box. I think just the box. the item. It's not been opened. Sometimes stores will tag them saying they're damaged, and it's literally because the box is damaged, and then they know not to put it back out on the floor. Probably what it was is the stock boy working in the back that was unpacking the pallets to put stuff on the shelf saw that this was smashed and said, oh, we can't put that on the shelf, and they tagged it and sent it out. This is, I mean, it's factory packed, brand new. Where's the spot where it was smashed? Right there. That's just an empty void right there, guys. Empty airspace. There is nothing damaged in there. So Stock Boy is in the back. He is young. Or Stock Girl. Or Stock let me, Girl. Let me, let me correct, correct myself. He or she is sitting there with the phone. I got to run another box out. That one's damaged. Tag it. I still get to play my game on my phone. Oh, sorry. I thought you were scanning it. No, Who, I'm, imitating, playing with I'm their imitating phone now? stock child. Stock person, sorry. Stock child. This could be a grown adult, you know. Oh, it could. It could. Well, if they're over 18, they're considered an adult. All right. My first potty. My first potty. My first potty. If you guys don't know what they are, they're a tiny little toilet. And it's a toilet training, well, potty training device for a child. Um, we've actually sold quite a few of them. This totally just made me think of one of our... I know, I know. <laughs> we have actually $30 one, these one particular are customer. I don't know if she watches our videos $15 or not. $15 I'm putting it down. She had a brilliant idea though, guys. She's got several kids of her own and she runs a daycare. She carries one of these little potties around in her van with her. In the back of the van. And so then when they have a child that has to use the restroom rather than taking them into you know a dirty public restroom with a full-size toilet room with all the just, children they just get the little potty out and they go right there in the van they just, yeah. she says it works all right here we go guys that's being creative right what better than just squatting it look at this George Foreman is joining in. He is joining in for the hump day. Hump day Foreman. Hump day. I opened it. Be careful. Stay back.
dun, dun, dun. looking good. This is the okay. factory shipping box. George Foreman Stiff Grill. Cardboard. You want me to get it? Yeah. Go with the heavy one, guy. Oh, wow. Yep, that's the original. If this is brand new, original guys. Original box. I think it is. It's still got the factory seals on top. Right here. It got kicked out because that box, the box was impacted. All right. So that will be the question. These factory seals, I am going to make sure somebody didn't just peel these seals up and put them back down. Because we're going to sell this local in our store anyway. And this was all styrofoam packaging right there. So if this is brand new, it should be good to go unless it cracked it. This is brand new, guys. There is not a fingerprint on here. But wait. What? We gotta find out, did it crack it? This side. Oh, we can't get it out that easily. No, probably Maybe not. just a slide. Teamwork. Uh oh, boxes. Hey, that box is tearing. That was stupid. And it was bottom corner, this side right here. What's this? Oh. Factory. There's. Put your hand down. Thank you. It is good to go, guys. There is nothing there besides that mess now for us to put back together. And there goes Mike with the whole box. The whole thing. Not going to take us 20 minutes to get back in there. Two. That was the exaggeration there. Scan the box. Take that box. Take the boxing. Oh, scan the box. We gotta find out what it's worth. I feel like we're gonna boom it. These these sides are like terrible. You, you know, not terrible. Like like you could tear it. What what's that word called? Perforated. Thank you. Also known as terrible. <laughs> not terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't ready at the scanner. My scanner's still asleep. It's my Monday. It's my Tuesday. All right, what do we got? Big money? Um, I can say we've never had one of these, so I'm not familiar. Amazon 84, I see. What? Come Q on, Target, Q where are you at? QVC's 120. <laughs> no, ain't doing it. Uh, yeah, that still isn't settled. This is such a slow process, you guys. All right, we'll go with Amazon. $90 when I clicked on it. It went to change to $90. So boom! I'm not call it, day, boom! I'm going to call it $50, guys. All right. Dun, dun, dun! What you got for me? I got... Treasures. Big, big items, guys. Treasures must... Oh, these are... Big. These are what would be the word mucho? What we're hoping. Grande. Mucho. Grande. Grande. No, mucho means a lot. Grande means, means large. Big. All right, guys, here we go. Grande number one. You're making me hungry now for tacos. Oh, man. How there many of you go, like guys. tacos? Tacos is just an awesome food. You got like every food group in tacos. No. Pizza. Mm. Maria, let's let's talk about this. Go ahead. You start cutting this. We're going to talk about pizza, guys. And we're okay. going to talk about... No, you start cutting. I will. I will. You say start cutting. This is my You give story. me the biggest box when I'm not supposed to use the knife. Stop. That's just to cut tape. See? Done. <laughs> like, Done. <laughs> Done. Get out of here. Go tell your story. <gasps> this is for safety. Right, Mr. Southern Overdrive? <laughs> I was just going to say. Okay. <laughs> Southern Seriously. Overdrive saying is pizza. pizza. We're going to talk about pizza, guys, <laughs> and we're going to talk about food groups. So, <laughs> I know the old food pyramid has changed in modern times, but when we grew up, you had four food groups. You had chocolate, your, your breads and grains, coffee. I'll be quiet. Breads and grains. Well, let's see. Oh, huh, pizza crust. Then you had your meats. Okay, well, we got our pepperoni and our sausage, whatever, linguisa. 
Okay, and then you had your dairy, your meat, your milk, and cheese. Oh, wait, cheese on pizza. And then you had your fruits and vegetables. Well, you can put whatever kind of vegetables, mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes. See, we got it all covered, guys. In fact, I think I'm going to have pizza tonight. Well, you know, we're having turkey. Okay, you ready? Because it's not like we're not having turkey here tomorrow. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. So, get, get, as get. you guys can see, it says on there, Maria Dining Chairs. We Let's need, see. What in the world is going on here? Well, it obviously no has been out they... of here. The pack factory would never have done that, guys. But it does look the actually brand new. The chairs are still wrapped. So these are like a wicker rattan seat, metal back. That one's unwrapped a little bit. It appears to me somebody took these out. They looked at them. They said, no, these are not what I was expecting. And they sent them back. I feel like we just hit a small little jackpot right here, you guys. Hardware pack has been opened, but it does appear that they put all the pieces back in the bag. It's not full. They're not full. They did it to one, one section. So it's like they did it to one chair. Like they attempted to start to put together one chair. So here's my so. opinion. I'm going to tell you my opinion without ever knowing what the retail value is on these chairs. These are metal, like um, yes, the, the whole frame is. Oh, like what, yeah. what would you call that? Just don't tell me metal. <laughs> um, what would that feel like? Not diamond. Um. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they are powder coated aluminum. Thank guys. you. Powder coated aluminum. Thank you. So okay. go ahead. Made in China. <laughs> My guess, guys, without ever seeing the retail value on this of what we will realistically sell these for is about $85 for the pair. Do you want to guess what it retails for? I want to guess they retail for about Target. $325. Get ready to watch my jump. I'm not going to jump because I think it's going to be ridiculous. Make sure. I'm going to do it one more time and try right. that screenshot okay, for you. Okay, ready? Two pack, which we got both chairs. Two pack. <laughs> I can't even spit it out. $551. Whoever that. There's your screenshot, guys. Pricing person is at Target has lost their mind. I am. I need to change my career, you guys. <laughs> But you know what happens? What? People like us, a normal person, gets enough nerve to actually order it at 500 bucks, and then they get it, and they open this up, and they go, I paid $500 for this? They send it back, and Mike and Terry get it. But if you bought it with your red card, you saved 5%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, watch out. With your red Hey, um, uh, let's try because it's Thanksgiving time and Thanksgiving is the best time and we've gone over this before. Extra beds, mattresses, um, air mattresses and loose dining chairs. That is the best time of the year to sell those items. Not Christmas. I mean, for some reason, that's the time of the year. Mike just sold yesterday... Um, a bed that came out. Where are those beds that come out of the wall called? Like a Murphy bed, guys. Yeah, two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Can't care ever for months, but Thanksgiving's coming, and they needed a place for their guests to stay. So I'm calling those chairs one hundred dollars. One hundred. We'll try it, guys. But we're not doing another bed on it. <laughs> All right. So this one came in. It's labeled as damaged. I mean, look at this, guys. This box is destroyed. The cardboard's very soft. I mean, this is just completely destroyed. Graco, smooth my way. Swing with removable rocker. I don't know, guys. This box is destroyed. I feel like if this is undamaged, I feel like it is like go get the lottery ticket tonight kind of day. We keep trying. Graco, smooth my way. Rocker, glider, destroyed box. Find a Google lady. I can't even quite... Hey, and it did. It found it. I can't even quite tell, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is new. Kind factory packed up. in here. What I'm going to have to do 
is just open it and make sure that actually everything that's supposed to be there is there, that nothing's actually missing. But uh, it is brand new, so that's good. What do we got? Amazon and Walmart were both the first lower places, believe it or not, at 155. After that, there was a third-party seller on it on Walmart who was at 190. So I took the 155 screenshot. There you go. I'm gonna say if it's good, I'm gonna say $65. That's completely not gift quality. Um, be one thing if you're just giving it to your, you know, your kid for their new grandchild being born or what. But you're not gonna take this to a baby shower or anything no. like that. So well, if you were to give this as a gift, you are gonna have to take the time to take it out of the box and set it up and still leave the manufacturing tags attached to the item. So, you know, not a lot of people are going to want to do it that way. They may want to do it for the, the savings. $60, Mike. Two items left, guys. All right, what do you got for us? I got a mystery box, and I've got... Sorry, I was looking at my phone, guys. We're I know, why? about to, because I keep hearing all these messages coming in, and we're not quite open yet, and I'm like, why are people standing outside our door waiting to get in, or what? So, <laughs> here we this go. This isn't Back damaged. to the Mervyn's commercial. You guys remember we did this, like, eight months ago. Open, open, open. 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 Loved that commercial. Back okay, then. we're going to do mystery. Oh, man, this is labeled as two inventory items. Mystery box, guys, and then we're bringing out the last item, which should be major boom. And I got my blade all the way up. No! Back off! You could damage the merchandise. Or your fingers. So gentle. Watch oh. this. Ready? What the? Ninja. Don't try that at home, kids. So, <laughs> and I know we have kids that watch our channel. Can I return this, please? What is this nonsense? Oh, I don't want this one. Remember this guy, T.S.? T.S.? Oh, man. I think if I call 1-800-BOLK, I can say, can I talk to T.S. who stacked my pallet? Alright, so... Oh, he'll say, I was just told what to do, guys. <laughs> the only reason we're talking bad about these guys is they're just... They're little we're money. talking bad about... They oh, do these? sell, though. I thought you meant talking bad about T.S. No, I'm not talking bad about T.S. They do sell, you guys. <laughs> it's just so little money. It is. Eight. Interesting. You know what will be good with these? Here you go. You can hold them up. Two of them. They're... That's an odd size. Um... It says it's an 8x8 eight eight matting in there. Salt 8x8 eight eight matting, black frame. So, I'm going to say we're going to get about, as sad as this is to say, guys, about 4 bucks a piece out of this. Target, this. $13 each. What's Wait, gonna... Target? Yeah, this came up at Target. So... That's weird. Salt is one of Bed Bath & Beyond's store brands. They, that is really They merged. Weird. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> maybe Could it's you imagine no. It? Maybe it's a different brand. It is. That's made by oh, Design. Oh, they that is tricked the, us. That is the exact same one. Google tricked us, guys. <gasps> That's the same one though, made by Design mm -hmm. and Salt. It's probably the same, same manufacturer company. in wherever yep. China, Vietnam, wherever they're manufacturing, and they're putting different labels on. Yep. All right, guys, here comes the last item. This is the so major I'm gonna call, boom. So I'm going to call those um, $6 each, Mike. Holy factory sealed major boom. Holy factory sealed is the word for the day. Get your scanner because it's about to go. Boy. All day long, I'm going to be yelling out, holy factory sealed. You got the table? I got the table. Ta-da! Ta-da! Look at that, guys! With my eight fingers. Even flow pivot expand travel system. There it is. Factory sealed, guys. And I will show you as soon as you get you got it. I will show you guys why this went to liquidation. Yes, I got it. Because the back of the box got split open. And so this got kicked out of the retail system. But it is 100% factory sealed top and bottom. This is a major win. Go ahead. 
I've only had, I think, one boom on this pallet, so let's do it. Ready? MSRP is 420. Yes! Boom! Target has it online yeah. 378. There's your screenshot. Oh man, 200 bucks! Right there, you guys. Can we go 225? Yeah. I'm just asking. We can surely try. I'm asking the question. That's we, like $150 off of we Target's online price. We'll try. Two, two, five. Two, two, five? Hey, Mike. I haven't had a lot of... Um, I feel a baby boom buying rush is going to happen. Oh. I haven't had a lot of real success selling this brand. I mean, we've always sold them, all of them that we've gotten, but um, they don't have as much desirability as like Chico or Up a Baby. I mean, even Graco sells better than Even Flow. So, but we'll try it and see what happens. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, hey, shh, you just do your little thing. Oh, I'm multitasking. So doing the Hump Day add up, guys. <laughs> We're about to. About to bring, uh, I mean, I feel like we made some money, but I don't think we, like, really crushed it on this one. Just based off, there was a lot of things at 23 bucks a piece, a lot of things that we're only getting $25, so. Well, Mr. Mike. Go ahead, bring it. Tell me Mike some Mike great Mike. news. For, for what? For, for, hey, for, hey, hey, for. Hey, Julie. <laughs> hey, Julie. All right, do it. I want your hump day. Hump day. For hump day. There we go. All in, $493. Potential sales, $882, with a potential profit of $389. Oh my gosh, guys. Almost Could you imagine if we'd have hit a hump day double up? Oh, that's like a camel with two humps. <laughs> that's a double hump camel, guys. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Hey, are we going live on Friday, Black Friday? No. We're not going to go live Black Friday. Oh, that's Black Friday. No, we're not going live on Black Friday. Sorry, guys. See you next week. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We may, we may. We do, didn't we, really discuss this. No. We may do something Saturday, though. Saturday evening. Might give that one a try. See how a Saturday evening live goes. Well, we need to let them know right now. We're announcing. <laughs> you can tell we didn't talk about this guy. I'm going to let Mike do a little short. He can put it up there tomorrow if we're doing it. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. We'll put up something, I guess, on Thanksgiving. So have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, And And uh, hope you enjoy. No matter where you are in this world, if you don't celebrate the well, yeah, Thanksgiving that's tradition. That's a United States thing. So other places, but, but, do uh, whatever you're going to do Thursday and... Have an amazing day. Have a day. piece of poultry for America. <laughs> Be thankful for what you right, got, guys. everybody. <laughs> Have an amazing day. Take care of yourselves. You Keep laughing. Bye. Bye-bye.